All right, so you've gotten off the elevator, you're on the hunt for room 7450, and you hit this door. You have to go through the door. We thought it was a dead end. Now you can see you've switched to Havana. So, oh, on this side, it's like ocean breezes. And now we have more Cuban inspired decor. So now again, on the hunt for 7450, you gotta go through this door. Took us a minute to figure this out. And then, here you are. All right, now that we made our way in, here is the Havana Premium Balcony. So remember, you're gonna need a card to turn on the electricity. And you come in, and you're on the corner. So it has kind of a rounded shape, as you can see here. So you have a chair that you can pull up to the little desk and vanity, and then a large bed. Um, this is two beds pushed together two sitting chairs then over here is your room service menu so in case you're curious here we go let's see what's there we have something light so daytime dining from 6 a.m to 10 you have different types of sandwiches also have a paid menu so this is the free menu so you can see it's mostly cold food and then this is the hot menu which has an extra charge of about five dollars two dollars for fries you can also buy drinks to come to the room these are the drinks that are included these are the drinks that cost extra and then they have a late night dining menu that all has a charge so everything between 10 p.m and 6 a.m has a charge even what's free during the day you'll also get your fun times that will show you what's on board for those of you keeping track of the plugs, there's two USBs, two US, and a European. We actually picked up this little handy dandy gadget on Amazon to give us two more plugs for all of those devices. Um, you do get an ice bucket, but you have to call to request ice. There's also a mini fridge. It's empty, um, so you can fill it up with all your <laughs> drinks or if you want to buy his sodas and bring him back to the room. There's a hair dryer. And then the bathroom's pretty standard um, for what you may see on other cruise ships. It's a little bit bigger than ones we've had before. And you also have upgraded amenities here. So you have body lotion, body gel, conditioning shampoo, and special soap. Lots of storage here for all of your bathroom needs but really the reason people get this is the balcony and we're going to show you that look it welcomes us that's our name how fun and then here's the closet space now there aren't a lot of drawers here so this is really going to be your space um so half for long half for short um additional space there i do like that they've split that up because a lot of people don't bring long dresses and then shelves and drawers all right but let's check out this balcony all right so here to the left we have a chaise lounge a chair with a footstool and now you can see it over looks the Havana area so this is the special area we have access to for being in the Havana and actually they give you a wristband you wear to show it. Um, you can see there's a big hot tub, a smaller hot tub, lots of chairs. This is exclusive to people in Havana cabins during the day. And then over here, see the captain. <laughs> another, uh, another stool, another set of two chairs, and another stool. But I mean, it's just massive. This balcony, it's amazing. And then here's New York, since we're sailing out of New York. So again, walking from one end of the balcony to the other. If you have any questions or if you're ready to book this cabin for yourself, Angie at tripsofangie.com.